Um, let's see. First, we'll start with this room. So I'm not an architect or anything, but if you look at the walls and you look at the columns, you can tell they're from two different time periods. And uh, the reason they're from two different time periods is that everyone's familiar with the fact that the British burned down the White House in the War of 1812. Fewer people remember that they also burned down the Capitol. And when they burned down the Capitol in what was then 1813, because it took them several years to get there, why did 1814 actually? Um, they actually came right through this door and started the initial fire in this room. If you look at the columns in different places, you can still see the soot and burn marks where the whole building went up in flames. Now, as far as we should see, that is the original Supreme Court, which was also the Senate for a time. Now, as far as what was decided in there, Marbury versus Madison was in there, which gave the court the ability to review the decisions of the President and the Congress. It's not actually a part of the original Constitution, but it's a really important way that our government functions. Um, the uh, Dred Scott decision was in that courtroom. So Dred Scott, runaway slave, sues for his freedom ends up losing, uh, it kind of reaffirms the idea that the slaves were property and not people, and that was the justific or that was the kind of legal standard for the next about 100 years in the United States, and that's kind of how you track the evolution of the court, because each United States courtroom has a different landmark civil rights case, so this one is Dred Scott, and then upstairs we'll see where Plessy versus Ferguson was decided, and across the street at the Supreme Court is where Brown versus Board of Education finally happens, so every time they moved courts. They had a new case. So when the 13th Amendment was ratified, was it in here or was it another so location? So the 13th Amendment is going to be in the uh, old Senate. Okay. So that was the Senate they used after, after this. Death. So it was a kind of a one in between. The Supreme Court also used that room for a time too. So we'll see that. As far as what we'll see in there, um, one of the things you'll notice is it's very dark. Uh, they added those windows later. So but the court cases that could last for six, seven, eight hours would smell like whale oil lamps the entire time and chewing tobacco. <laughs> um, another thing that's interesting about the room is you'll see a lot of the seats on the sides. Uh, back then, uh, American theater was in its infancy and there was no movies, so people used to come down to the Supreme Court as a form of entertainment. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Dolly Madison loved watching the courts so much that, uh, and she was friends with Justice Taney, that it didn't matter how long the court had been in session, if uh, Dolly Madison came in to watch a court, uh, Justice Taney would make them start all over from the very beginning. Wow. So it probably helped that her husband was the president. Right. Um, uh, other things we'll see in there, you'll see nine chairs. The first, I believe, five belong to some Supreme Court justices. Um, now back then there were only seven. There's actually nothing in the Constitution that says you have to have nine. Nine is just kind of the number we've arrived at right now. They do actually know where the remaining chairs are that are original, but the, what would happen is if the justice would die or retire, the chair would go into the possession of their family. So they know where the chairs are. The Smithsonian Society is asking those chairs back. But if your great great granddad was one of the first ever Supreme Court justices, I don't know if you'd give up this chair. So that is where that's at. You'll also see five busts, each for one of the first five Supreme Court justices. So that's you also see a clock that was put in for $180. And back then it was a ton of money. Uh, now it's worth several million dollars uh, because of inflation and because of the fact that it was used in the Supreme Court. First, uh, also the first vaulted ceiling in North America. So those were, those, those were not the original windows. 
into those ones. Yeah, they mean? were put in at some point.